Leo, lionesses, welcome to Jamaican Scorpio, Tarot, lionesses, queens and empresses, big up, come on in and listen to your weekly love Tarot, so this will is, um, cover your love relationship, whether it's current connections or new love coming in and your relationship on a whole, so let's start off with your major and that will pull the reading together for us leo's lionesses i hope you guys are having a beautiful sunday there it comes out already you have the darn sun leo's what about pulling the sun for you and the chariot so you guys are just in for those of you who are pulling the new energies of new love go forward with it go for it go for it leo's there's nothing stopping you. It's a season of love. It's a season of joy. It's a season of happiness. And with this sun, it brings all of that to you. Sunshine and rainbow, rainbows, lionesses. So go for it. If you guys have a love interest, if you guys have a connection going, oh my gosh, go forward for it. It's just going to bring you that happiness you're seeking, that joy, that comfort. It's going to just make you um, in a settled um, in a set, settled mindset. You're, you have nothing to worry about, nothing that will be disruptive to you in your life. No negativity here. So let's see what else is coming for you. Uh, Lioness is also, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I have $100 to give away when we reach 1,100 subscribers. So if you want to participate in that, just subscribe, like the video, and please put in the comments, win 100. So that's win dollar sign 100. So let's see what's coming in your energies for new love, current relationship. What is your weekly love here for you? Sun, moon, rising, same as ascending. What's going on? Lionesses. And I go live every single night. Leo's come in my live at 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. every single night. Or between 10 and 11 p.m. Because sometimes I go 10, 10, 30, 11. And that's Eastern Standard Time. Come hang with me. Chat with me. And if you have questions, ask them. I do free tarot reading every single night for you. So, looking forward to meeting you in there, Leo's. All right. What else? What's coming new in love for Leos? What's coming in new for Leos? What's coming in new for Leos? All right. Whoa, okay. There you go. So these are coming in news and that's current. Anything else? All right, all right. There you go. So let's get this together. These were current. That's coming in you there. All right. Whoa. All right. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let's put this up here for you, Leo, and let's get into it. All right. So first, let me handle your current. So you're pulling the king of wands for your current. So those of you who have a current connection, a love relationship, a partnership, um, a union. So whether you're married or just living with someone, once you have a current relationship established, you're pulling the king of wands. So you're just experiencing a good time in your relationship right now. Things are settled. Things are okay until they are not. And so sometimes when things are going well and you love each other, there comes a little bit conflict sometimes with the five of swords. And that's understanding because in relationships you have the ups and downs. It would be unrealistic to think that there won't be any disagreements or misunderstanding or points when you guys just can't come to a mutual agreement and a compromise. So here someone is just going at it. They're not able to stop. They can't help themselves and they they want to win a conversation at all costs so they argue about it they pick about it and even if you're telling them to just stop and let it go they keep driving it home because they just feel like they have to win this one and so they'll just win at all costs and the cost sometimes it is just causing disruption in your relationship causing you guys to just you know um, kind of have a little bit of distrust between each other and that doesn't look good so sometimes it is you somebody just have to say hey i'm wrong or just let it go let it 
let it go let it go so that's for your current so what's coming in for some of you so equally you have the king of cups so this is coming in and if you have the king of cups you have one of the best lovers entering your life man they're offering you something that's unique something that's different something you may not have experienced before in the love realm something that is just not game <laughs> not playing with your mind and thoughts and just not leading you on or you know stringing you along um along with that comes the page of wands so it's just a wonderful reminder and message for you that when this love come in they're passionate about you it's going to be new it's going to be refreshing it's going to be great nothing for you to worry about there and then comes the judgment so for some of you instead of bringing in a completely new love your energies is pulling back your ex it's they're coming in for reconciliation remember it's getting very cold outside so what do you think they want that warmth that love that special feeling they get when they are with you they kind of miss that and so they're coming in to offer you love again and to ask you for forgiveness and to ask you to rethink <laughs> the position of breakup can we now end this separation and so when they come in with that love offer it is going to be you who have to use your intuition remember this is a happy moment for you with a son so you have to decide is this person bringing sunshine and rainbow happiness laughter and joy or are they bringing the opposite if they're bringing the first just go ahead and go ahead with it with the cancer energy of the um of the um chariots here but if not and it's a ladder just say thanks no thanks been there done that i uh, don't want to taste that again so here is the opportunity for you to think about it so when the hangman come in it just wants you to look at things from different perspective different angle for you to analyze and assess before you make a decision because sometimes when x comes back they come with such loving thoughtful kind words and then they don't have anything meaningful to drive behind that and so it's going to just end up causing you to get back to a place where you guys break up again and here goes this is exactly what he's saying you guys if it is the energies that's bothering you man that just didn't work out to begin with and the six of swords say you're gonna turn your back on it all over again so don't even bother to let them back in your energy if it was a bad breakup um, or a divorce or something where something really <laughs> bad happened like cheating something that really changed your life um in a significant way where it took a time long time for you to heal and for you to get over it and to move past it so make sure that you're not accepting that because they're going to put you back straight at square one where you're leaving again and then the knight of wands so for those of you who are currently in your energies of love and a good relationship and a great union right here you guys are bringing in knight of wands reigniting the passion between you having some new fresh intimacy and romance and you guys are going to enjoy that um it's going to be a quick spark of moments so it's going to be spontaneous moments that you guys keep having um and recharging each other then you have the six of pentacles so even though this is your love reading your money and your finance came up a little bit to say check that for the holidays just a quick reminder to say your money and budgeting is important don't forget to not overspend for the christmas season for all the gifting and all the family gatherings and kids and yourself and your spouse and family and friends and everybody who wants gifts just don't leave yourself dry or cut yourself short because after the holidays has passed you still have those everyday responsibilities to take care of and so you are going to find yourself in a position of need if you're not making sure you're responsible with your spend ending before the Christmas season so this is just a quick reminder so let me pull some love messages for you since this is your weekly love reading I love this for you Leo's lionesses I love the Sun as a matter of fact let me not forget my tradition of giving the Sun a double six whenever the Sun pull you get a 
I know you heard that coming. I know you can just hear that sound of slamming it against the table. But guess what? I won't hurt your ear like that. I'll gently place it there. The sun deserves a double six in your reading because it's the ultimate happiness for you. And I always wish the sun for you in your love readings. It is that time where you're going to have the most joy and the most peace in your relationship and in your love life and in your energy, in your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, everything just seems to just be healing and comforting and you're just so joyful. Happiness and laughter, man, that is therapy for you. Happiness and laughter and joy, that's medication and therapy there. That's best, better than medicine, right? <laughs> right, Leos? All right, anything else? Any other love messages for Leos, whether it's their current love or love coming in? Anything else for Leos? Anything else for Leos? Thank you, Angel Excel. All right, there you go. So, Leos, let's tie this up for you. Ah, when you touch me, I feel butterflies in my stomach. What did I tell you? Some of you are just bringing that passion back into your relationship. And the cold outside is helping you too because it's getting a little bit cold. And you guys are like, let's get um, that body heat, that body warmth going. And you guys are just, oh, remembering the days of um, that and just getting at it <laughs> i like sleeping next to you what did i tell you guys i like sleeping next to you so when you touch my field butterflies i like sleeping next to you oh my gosh so you guys are just reigniting that passion that's so beautiful so that's for you guys who have your current love relationship as well the king of wands here and the king of cup kind of love that kind of um good balance energy of love okay then i love our deep conversations they open up my mind so this is for new love this is for the new love that's coming up you guys are having very deep special conversations you guys are opening up to each other you guys are realizing that you like each other deeply and so that new love might be coming to something that's worth your while and then finally, I have so much passion and desire for you. It drives me mad. So this is your current energy in that love connection that you have again. Man, no wonder the sun is here. You guys are making each other happy. And it's an equal give and take. So this is not just one person pulling that love energy. It's both of you feeling the same. Both of you striking that match and lighting it on fire, just igniting it and just let it blaze let it blaze in the bedroom let it blaze <laughs> so much love to you leos and lioness please subscribe to the channel give your girl a like and i go live every single night between 10 and 11 p.m eastern standard time so come on and hang with me ask your questions and i'll throw them for you for free looking forward to hanging out with you guys you guys are special and amazing thank you for watching and everything you do from the bottom of my heart much love, Lioness. Big up and subscribe. Bye.